to thank him for inviting me to come to the appointment of mine. And I would like to also uh, welcome all those who are present this evening, who are here for their first or maybe even their second experience of Barney Sheehan's creation of the White House Poetry Evening. I'm going to read a poem, I would like to read a poem in dedication to uh, two Egyptian poets who are visiting us uh, as, uh, as, as a welcoming poem to both of them. Uh, and it's called Egyptians. And of course, uh, I lived in Egypt for a while, that's why I did it. So it's, in a way, it's kind of Era's point of view of Egypt, so to speak, or E squared, whatever uh, um, uh, you might make of that mathematical thing. Egyptians. For Maita Abdelal, and for the Egyptian poet who read his own poems for you, to say early on, or as you read in the street. Egyptians. Without water, all dies. We came down to the river from the high cliffs of the valleys with our stone tools and weapons. In the beginning, four male frogs and four female snakes. Night, darkness, mystery, eternity began amen the hidden one the world the egg on the ocean from whom emerges sun born in the east set in the west god of life and reproduction creator of air and moisture earth and sky man and woman, Osiris and Isis. Hunter and fisher people, we roam the river's prairies alive with animals, mammals, wild fowl. They possess powers superior to ours, so we admire, love, fear them, some symbolize ourselves, and we make them gods to worship. The lion with man's head for king. Falcon is the royalty. The thoughtful Ibis, or Evis, depending on your pronunciation, the thoughtful Evis stands god of wisdom and writing. Crocodile and hippopotamus devour the guilty. We choose our first pharaoh. He unifies our black silk land, gift of the Nile, source of life and wealth. Thank you. Let us